Hey guys, I know I said I wasn't going to do it, and uh, I changed my mind. Um, I wasn't going to point out subliminal messages for the simple fact that they are everywhere. Um, so I'm not going to sit here and point them all out, because that would take literally forever. But what I am going to do is hopefully give you the tools needed to find these subliminals. Um, we are completely surrounded. The subliminal you see in front of you is just an example to kind of show you that there is more than one way to see these. There's not just, you know, the three, the triple six configuration within the bell. There's not just the demon eye. Uh, you, I mean, you can find it outside of the logos as well. Uh, that's basically why I'm throwing this up here because there is multiple ways to see this. It's not just one way. This is what's known as a Masonic Magical Square. A lot of you may have recognized this from a puzzle that you've done at some point in your life. And they do that so that you just look at it as a simple puzzle. Uh, in which, you know, a few of these will be left blank and you'll have to figure out which number goes in the space in order to get the same uh, sum regardless of which way you add it. So. 15 is what you would get regardless of which way you add this and the sum of all lines is 45 of course 45 is a uh, particularly special number for masons a lot of uh, measurements are done on 45 degree angles the sigil of satan or one of the sigils of satan or saturn is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 now what are the odds that these numbers would create this perfect symmetrical pattern with these numbers adding up um, I believe that this is the mathematical matrix that we're all in just some hidden knowledge recently I was playing a game over a friend's house he uh, bought a new computer and this game came with his computer called Watch Dogs and the subliminal messages all throughout this game, even the logo itself, um, <laughs> like I said, you'll get this anywhere you look. Xbox, the Xbox 360, 360 degree angles is an equilateral triangle. Superimposed is a hexagram. And of course the X and the cube, the box. And you got all these other all seeing eyes and whatnot over here. But like I said, it's everywhere. You just can't get away from it. Uh, and once you start seeing these things, you will not be able to unsee them. Bloom is who makes this uh, game. Bloom is the company that makes watchdogs. Uh, if you, the anagram for Bloom uh, is Umbel, and the Latin for Umbel is Umbra, which literally translate to shadow or darkness. And like I said, in every logo, you will have multiple subliminals. And I've I kind of drawn those in here for you. You have the triple six configuration. Like on the uh, uh, Google Chrome logo, the triple six. Um, you have these arrows right here, all pointing towards the center, which gives you the cube. Of course, there's cubes inside the cube. You have a hexagram in center of this logo and you have a hexagram on the outside so there's a hexagram within a hexagram and a cube within a cube um, and that's who makes this uh, this uh, game called watchdogs now the logo itself uh, scream subliminal like crazy um, a lot of you may not know this but 9-11 in Roman numerals is IXXI we can see very clearly what that makes and IXXI is the symbol of the cube of Saturn. What you see here is IXXI, the Masonic square and compass, and the hexagram, all within this box. Um, and this is just more proof for 9-11. Uh, of course, this is kind of blurry. If you can make this out, it takes Saturn 29.45 years to orbit the sun. 
2 plus 9 11, 4 plus 5 is 9. Like I said, you can check this math multiple different ways. And uh, the logos on my computer, especially, um, this is one of the logos. This is a preload from HP. And the sigil, the summoning sigil for Dag uh, Dag uh, Dagon is the fish. And you see it in religion. Um, the Pope wears the, uh, the the fish hat, if you will. And they've basically taken their symbols and perverted them to where you think that they're yours. But they're not yours. They've never been yours. This is the original Windows logo. Of course, you have the original 666 configuration of the Windows logo. You have Office, Microsoft Office, which is the Fibonacci, uh, the Fibonacci code right here, or uh, the Fibonacci spiral. This plus this equals this. This plus this equals this. Very easy to see that. The fox. I've already done this. The fox is another one of those 666s. Six, six, <coughs> And it's uh, undeniable at this point that you can get these um, subliminals in multiple different ways. There's not just one way to see this. Uh, you say, okay, the fox equals 666. Well, look right here. <laughs> and it doesn't end ever. That's why I say, that's why I initially said I'm not going to do subliminal messages because I will be here all day. But rather than uh, go through all of them, I just want to give you the tools to see them for yourselves. So that's hopefully what I'm doing with this video. Internet Explorer, Skype, Nintendo GameCube, Dreamcast, Sega Saturn, uh, on and on and on. Here's where it gets interesting. And here's where, uh, for most of you, jaws start dropping. Um, I, I know I did a video on the Mark of the Beast not too long ago, and and since then a lot of things have been revealed to me. Of course, I initially just attributed the 360s uh, superimposed on each other as the hexagram or the seal of Solomon, star of David, whatever you want to call it. Um, that initially is what I thought because of course I showed you uh, probably you've already seen this anyway but the hexagram is on the dollar bill but it's in multiple places and I've always said that you know you can always find these things in multiple places if they're in fact true here's where it gets creepy I don't know how well you can make this out on your computer but there is an eye here there is an eye here there is a nose here you can see it very clearly. It's a darker area here. And they've turned it upside down. The eye is the mouth. And I know this is getting kind of blurry, but you can clearly see a line here and a line here of different colors. This is the beard. It's a very defined line right here. It's, uh, it's it's pixelated, I'll give you that. We have the ear right here. We have the horns. We have the mind's eye. And we have the hexagram. We have the hexagram and the pentagram. We have the hexagram in the cube, surrounded by the circle, and the satanic sigil. This is a picture by NASA, uh, and the reason why I'm doing this is because a lot of you out there who talk about Saturn this, Saturn that, or even hear about Saturn stuff, you really don't know where this is coming from, so I'm trying to show you right now where this is coming from. Um, uh, this is a picture by NASA. Uh, Saturn's mark, the cube, it's right there. And this is an even closer picture of uh, this mark, which has the pentagram 
inside of a hexagram, inside of a cube, inside of a circle. And where else do we see that? Right here. <sighs> buy and sell. There we go. Barcode 666. Buy the dollar. The Christian cross is a cube unfolded. Mecca is a cube. I'm sorry if this is offensive. Uh, according to Pagan, Saturday is the sixth day of the week, Saturn is the sixth planet, and Saturn has six letters. And I drew these over here so you could see that the cube, using the up arrow, and the cube using the down arrow. So uh, there's multiple ways to view things. It's not just, it's not how I want you to see it. It's it's. Uh, it's how you basically want to see it. And I have this question at the bottom. How can Saturday be the Sabbath if Saturday is Saturn's day? I have a lot of unanswered questions. Sunday is the Sunday. So Monday is the moon day. You know, When is the Sabbath? That's, uh, that's an important question for uh, religious folk if they want to uh, participate in the fourth commandment. And it's just everywhere. I just thought I'd I just thought I'd throw this up there because there's the X, uh, the key, uh, sign of Saturn, the X, the pyramid, the Q. It's all right there. Xscape, Saturn. I mean that's just I mean that's so pathetic. They would use a dead man for this. That's basically all I wanted to do is point out just a few things. Um, and the one thing that should really get your mind moving. If nothing else, do some research on these Roman numerals right here. Uh, another thing I wanted to point out is, um, has anybody ever heard somebody say "dag on it" uh, instead of saying "god damn it"? Because it's pretty much the same type of thing. Instead of saying "god," though, you're using or invoking "dagon." So "dag on it" is basically the fish god. And, and you know you you act like you're you're uh, avoiding a curse word when in fact you are still saying a curse word. Uh, it just happens to be a different deity. So if anybody was wondering where that came from, if you've ever heard that, I know I heard it growing up. I haven't heard it recently. Um, but dag on it is, uh, yeah, it's like. And what gets me is is there's so many atheists in this truth movement who have seen the sacrifice to Moloch in Bohemian Grove, uh, the fire blood sacrifice in Bohemian Grove, and they can't make the connection to the cult of Saturn, Moloch, and 9-11, and how that was a burning sacrifice. And it wasn't just to uh, get certain laws passed. It wasn't to start this new world order necessarily. It was, it was more sinister than that. It was a blood sacrifice on 9-11 to Saturn to Moloch. It's uh I mean it's 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 all in ancient text and if you if you care to read it you'll see that 9/11 was most most definitely an inside job, but it wasn't just an inside job to get things like the Patriot Act passed. It's a lot more sinister than that. Um but anyways, thanks for listening guys. Uh I hope I haven't wasted anybody's time.